Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And the next movie I'm going to review for you guys is The Horror Story, or House 3, The Horror Story. This is the third film in the House franchise, um, and it was released on April 28th, 1989. It is a psychological slasher film that received mixed to negative reviews from critics. Uh, Roger Ebert gave it 1 out of 4 stars. It has a 0% rating on Rotten Tomatoes based on 8 reviews, a 5 out of 10 on IMDb, and an 84% on Google. The movie was directed by David Blythe and James Isaac, and written by Alan Warner and Leslie Bowen. And this was also produced by Sean S. Cunningham, and the music was done by the great Harry Manfredini. Both those guys are, are most popular with the Friday the 13th franchise. And this movie is about uh, Max Janke, um, played by Brian James, who is a serial killer who's getting ready to be executed for his crimes. Uh, the arresting officer, Detective McCarthy, played by Lance Harrison, is there to watch to make sure he dies. Uh, he is electrocuted, uh, but it takes multiple times to get him, and he vows revenge against the cop who put him away um, fast forward some time um, you have the detective and his family in a new house um, but they start getting haunted by um, uh, mr janky's uh, i would say ghost but um, he starts going after them and friends and family um, the uh Kills in this movie are uh, really good. I really actually enjoyed the kills. Um, I like the characters. I like the story. Uh, there's definitely room for improvement. Uh, the music, you can, it's definitely identifiable uh, with Harry Manfredini because it sounds like the music he did for some of uh, Friday the 13th Part 6. Uh, in there, which I actually kind of liked, but uh, I like the kills. I like the fact that uh, Sean S. Cunningham uh, produces as well. Um, this was just a fun, goofy slasher movie. Uh, something you just, you just don't take serious. You know, you sit back, eat some popcorn, and just you know, have a good time with it. Uh, like I said, it has flaws. Uh, it's definitely um, uh, got some dialogue issues. Uh, some of the dialogue was cheesy, generic. Um, and uh, some of the acting uh, was subpar as well. Uh, but for the most part, though, I did enjoy the main characters. Most notably, uh, Lance Her Henriksen, who he has been in a lot of movies over the years. Uh, Aliens, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Pumpkinhead. Uh, just to name a few, he, he's been in a lot. He's got a huge filmography. Uh, Brian James, who plays Max Jakey, uh, he's been in a lot of movies in the 80s. Uh, 48 Hours in a Sequel, uh, Tango and Cash, uh, just to name a few. So those are the top billing guys in this movie. Uh, but I don't have no box office numbers. There's nothing listed. Uh, but this is the third movie in this franchise. There are four movies total. Um, so far, I'm surprised that this hasn't been remade yet. The original movie, House, is freaking awesome. Uh, I have now seen the third movie, uh, which I believe is not a sequel uh, in this franchise, but it is part of it, just not a sequel. I've got to see House 2 and House 4 uh, to finish this franchise, so I am on the lookout for those. But as far as this movie goes, um, uh, I had a good time with it. There's there is some laughs in there too, so I'm gonna give the horror show a seven out of ten. So yeah, it it was, it was a blast to watch, uh, but definitely could have been better. Uh, but yeah, in the comment section below, if you guys have seen this movie, uh, give me your thoughts and opinions. If you've seen the whole franchise, let me know which one is your favorite and which one is your least favorite, or just do a quick ranking of them in the comment section below. I would love to see that and hear some feedback from you guys. But other than that, 
If you're new to the channel, subscribe today for more content. If you like this review, hit that like button. Stay tuned for one more movie review. It's going to be part of my Throwback Thursday movie reviews that I'm going to be doing every Thursday. I'm going to take a movie from my childhood um, or even, even in my uh, teen years, and I'm going to review it and talk about it in full length. So, uh, But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for many more movie reviews, TV show reviews, trailer reviews, top tens, and rankings. And check you later.